When an artist breaks into the limelight, high on the things to do list is to find a manager, a manager who looks after an artist's promotions, handles their schedules, and an expert at strategizing the best time and place to release the artist's album. But in the case of Marie Digby, she takes matters into her own hands. How do you decide like where you want to perform? Do you tell your manager、um, the places that you want to perform in, or, or how does it work? I listen to my fans, so you know I look at my, I read all my fan mail, and I read all the the comments that come into my Twitter, or my YouTube, and I really take note of where are, where is everybody living, where are most of the comments coming from, and then once I figure that out, then I go to my booking agent or my label and I say, look. We ha I have to go to Singapore. I have to go to the Philippines. I have to go to this this place, and then that's how it works. I heard that you had a fan who practically sent you 200 mail emails. Was it telling you that、uh, you needed a guitar strap, right? <laughs> yeah, you did your research. Luckily, those have subsided, so no longer. Or maybe he found someone else to stop. But、um, I I have very loyal fans, and they're very enthusiastic. And、um, I, I think. Once in a while, you get some crazies, but for the most part, they're they're amazing and supportive. So I'm very grateful for that. Hi, Reese. You're you made yourself a star. You're like your own made star. You have so much of say in what you do. Was it a conscious effort to make it this way? Do you think that you could have come this far if you hadn't pushed yourself? I think that well. I knew that even if I got a record deal, it would be hard. But I didn't know how hard it would be. So、um, it's something I learned kind of on the fly. That no matter what, I'm always in charge of my own career. So、um, I always have to be looking for the next, the next step, the next,、uh, you know, the next way to get my music out there. So I, I feel like I'm very, very involved in in、um, every part of my music, not just the album, but how it's promoted and all of it. So I heard that you were without a manager for six months. So did that feel like you were running around hitless for a while?、Um, I actually still don't have one. So it's been ten months without me. So I've made this album all by myself. I made a Japanese album all by myself. So it's been it's been hard. But once again, I've learned a lot. But I'm ready for a manager now. <laughs> I'm tired of the, that stuff. What are some of the difficulties of finding like a manager? I mean, for most people, we don't know what it's like. So, what are some of the concerns? Well, manager, basically, you are trusting them with your entire career. They're to be your voice when you're not there. They're to make business decisions for you, even if sometimes you can't speak to them. They have to be basically your brain. So, it takes a lot of trust, and it's hard to make that decision after meeting someone once or twice. So, it's, I guess a lot of it is intuition, and I'm just looking for the right person, and it's been very difficult. Very personal relationship with this man. It's, it's, it's like basically getting married to someone after one date. So that's a little scary, right? She may not have a manager, but she is a self-promoting marketing genius. Instead of waiting for her record label to promote her, she uploaded her own videos online and created a name for herself around the globe. When her second album, Breathing Underwater, was scheduled to be released in May this year, she convinced her record company to push the release back to July to make sure people knew about it before it was released. And to add to that touch of personalization, she created her own artwork for her album. And to reach out to her fans, she maintains her MySpace blog and gives fans a sneak into her personal life. She also promises her fans that whichever city she would be performing in, she would try her best to meet all of them, no matter how long it takes. And at her concert in Singapore on July 28, she kept that promise and stayed back after the performance to sign CDs and posters for all of her fans. Even during the sound check before the performance, instead of having a manager to handle most of the groundwork, Marie herself was directing the performance. Up next, we ask Marie about the man she's been singing to.